So if you're interested in taking Synology 7.1 beta for a test drive, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up as a virtual machine. Okay, so here's the plan of attack for this video. First, we are going to go ahead and create a virtual machine as 7.0.1. Then we'll go out and we'll download the virtual disk image for 7.1 beta and do a manual upgrade of that virtual machine, bringing it up to 7.1 beta. Now that said, you might be asking, why not just create the virtual machine using the virtual disk image for 7.1? Well, I actually did try that and it does not work. When it's creating the machine, it actually yields an error message saying that the disk image is not compatible. So I guess we're just gonna have to go through the series of steps. We'll get 7.0.1 set up as a virtual machine and then we'll do the manual upgrade. So if that's something that you think you're interested in, stick around. Okay, so I'm signed into my Synology DS1621 Plus, and let's go over to the main menu and we'll launch Virtual Machine Manager. Now you can see here, I have a healthy host, healthy storage. I don't have any virtual machines running. So the first thing you need to do if you don't have Virtual Machine Manager installed, if your Synology NAS does support it, come up to the package center and then just search for virtual and you see it should come up here. Now mine says open because it's already installed, but if you need to install it for the first time, it will say install like it does here. Go ahead and install it, and then you could pick up and follow from where I am in the video. So let's go back to Virtual Machine Manager. And the first thing we're going to do is come over to the image tab. And across the top, we're gonna to come over and select DSM image. And then we're gonna click on add. So you have options here. If you've already downloaded it and it's stored on your computer or on your NAS, you can just select it from these two tabs, but we're going to go ahead and actually download it right from Synology server. So we're gonna click on download virtual DSM image. Then we'll click on download. We're gonna say next. We're gonna click on the storage. We're gonna say Done. And you can see here now the status is downloading. Once the download is complete, we'll go back up to the virtual machine tab and we'll create the virtual machine. Okay, so you can see that the virtual DSM image has been created. It is healthy and the version is 7.0-42218. Let's go ahead and go up to the virtual machine now that we have the image downloaded into Virtual Machine Manager and we're going to click on create and we're gonna select Synology Virtual DSM and click on next. And we're gonna select this storage, it's the only one we have. You might have more options for storage. Select the storage option of your choice and I'm gonna call this DSM Virtual 7.0. For now, we'll just give it two CPUs and four gig of memory, and we'll click on next. We'll give it 60 gig as a hard drive. Now you could do whatever you feel is necessary here. This is just the criteria I'm using for this demo. Let's go ahead and click on next. We're gonna leave the network as the default. We could say auto start, click on next. We're gonna assign user privileges, say next. And then we're gonna say power on the virtual machine after creation. We're just gonna look at the summary and confirm it's everything that we want and we'll go ahead and we'll say done. Now you can see it's creating the virtual machine. Okay, so now the next step is to select a license. So. For the virtual machine, you wanna just go ahead and use existing license. So we're gonna say next, select it and say next. And let's go ahead and say done. Now it's powering on the virtual machine. Notice the connect button is grayed out. Once the machine has been fully created, we'll get an IP address and the connect button will become available. We have a status change to running, so we should be getting issued an IP shortly.
Okay, so now we have an IP issued from the DHCP server and you notice the connect button has become available. So let's go ahead and click on connect. So we're getting that your connection is not private message and that's okay. We're running this on our own local server. So let's just proceed and click on advanced and proceed. Okay, so now it's welcoming us to DSM seven. We just have to do the initial setup of DSM. So let's go ahead and click on start. Let's give the device a name. So we'll call it virtual DSM seven. We'll give it a user administrator account of Tony. And then we have to create a password. Click on next. Select an update option for your virtual DSM. I'm just going to say notify me when DSM or package updates are available and I will install them manually. You could choose whatever you wish here. Create a Synology account. I'm going to skip this. This is just a virtual machine and it's a demo. So we'll go ahead and say skip, but you have the option of creating your Synology account on this screen. And here I'm just going to click on submit. I'm not going to agree to the collection of data. So let's go ahead and submit. Okay. And here we are now we are in virtual DSM. And if we go to the control panel and we go to update and restore, you can see that we have virtual DSM 7.0.1. And then there is an update available. So since we are going to do a manual install to 7.1 beta, let's go ahead and download and install the update of 7.0.1. The installation may take between 10 and 20 minutes. The system cannot be shut down. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And then we will come back once the update has been applied. Okay. The virtual machine has rebooted. Let's get signed in. So the username is Tony and we'll enter the password that we created in the previous step. Okay. So now we're signed back into our virtual DSM. Let's go over to the control panel and just check the status. Let's go to update and restore. And you can see now that we've applied the update. It says your DSM version is up to date, but no, we are still running DSM 7.0.1. The goal of this video is to get us to 7.1 beta. So that said, Let's go out to Synology's website and download the virtual DSM image. I'll show you how to do that. So here we are in Synology's website. You can see DSM manager 7.1 is being featured. The beta is being featured on their homepage. So we're just going to go back. We're going to click on learn more. We're going to click on download now. And then under please select your models. I showed this in my last video. If you saw it all the way down at the bottom, there's an image for virtual DSM. So let's click on that and say submit. And we're not going to go through the release notes. We did that in the last video. You could check that out here up above. Let's click on DSM 7.1 and let's click on download. Okay. So it finished downloading the virtual DSM 7.1 image. Let's go back to our virtual machine. Let's click on manual DSM update. And now we just have to search for the virtual DSM image that we just downloaded. So let's click on browse. We'll go to downloads. Here it is right here. DSM virtual. 42550. Let's click on open. And note here, it says DSM cannot be rolled back to an older version. I did point that out in my last video as well. Let's click on OK. The installation may take between 10 and 20 minutes. 
same message as before. We're going to go ahead and continue and I'll come back once the manual update has been completed and we should be at DSM 7.1 beta. Let's click on yes. Okay, it looks like the manual update to beta 7.1 has been completed. We're back at the sign in screen. The DSM has rebooted. Let's get signed in. We're just going to say no to the device analytics. And let's jump over to the control panel and check the status. And you can see here the current version of DSM is DSM 7.1. So we are running the 7.1 beta at this point. So that said, go ahead and give DSM 7.1 beta a test drive. You can do it now. Feel free to explore. You don't have to worry about it because it's not actually installed on your actual NAS itself. It's running in as a virtual machine. So there you have it, Synology 7.1 beta running as a virtual machine. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I do have links to my Patreon and PayPal down in the video description. And you can also buy me a coffee as well, link down below. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.